All right, so I'm starting a new project here and I'm gonna be running this gutter here underneath ground through a pipe and to our detention pond in the back. Now, right now the way it's going is um, the water's coming down this pipe and then it's dropping down right here. Usually this bucket's underneath is to kind of catch it to keep the rocks from uh, washing down and then it kind of just drains out into here. All of the other downspots on the entire yard are um, go underneath ground through um, some four inch pipes and they all exit in the same spot. They connect and exit in the same spot into the detention pond in the back. So my plan is to extend this one straight down the wall, run an underground and three inch PVC pipe, which I have here, and then connect it into the main line with the rest of them. Now, while I'm uh, running this down spot underground, I also decided I might as well run some PVC pipes for these hoses underground too. So right now I have three hoses going out to different spots in the yard. And then it, they all connect to this timer here, which um, goes off every once in a while for each one to water the things that they need to water. Um, so my plan is to kind of put this up against the wall and then have three PVC pipes coming up here, connected to it, and then run down the same trench and I'm gonna trench out for the uh, main, for the drain line. Two pipes will go out that way. One will go that way and connect to that PVC pipe right over here that's already coming out and that goes to the vegetable garden, which I'll be working on next year. So if you are interested in seeing that, let me know. Um, I'll be doing that in the spring probably and if you want, I can make a video about that as well. All right, let's get going. All right, so I think what I'm gonna do is start with getting this old gutter line moved out. Then once that's done, I'll put the rain barrel up. And then we're, after that, then we'll get going on running the pipe underneath ground. Okay, so I got the old downspot removed. Now it's time to go ahead and get the rain barrel put up here. So this is just a rain barrel that I found on Facebook Marketplace. It's actually just a barrel. And I went ahead and put a uh, PVC, uh, half inch or three fourths inch PVC piece in here. I'm gonna turn this thing upside down and then have the water come out the bottom, come out through here, go through a few lines and then go to a valve. Go ahead and get on the 2x4 nailed in on this side, 2x4 screwed in on this side. Put a lot of extra screws and nails um, since it's going to be holding up a lot of weight with the rain barrel. Now it's time to put some 2x4s across and finish it up. Just put some old decking wood that I found in the garage on top. Um, so this is sort of stain it to match the rest of the deck. <clears throat> and then I gotta cut out a uh, gap in the back here for the downspot that's gonna be coming down here. Okay, so I'm done for today. And I got, this is what I got done so far. I'll go ahead and uh, let the paint dry in the barrel. And then tomorrow I will Get that set up and then start getting everything hooked up for that. Get the gutter installed, get those painted, and uh, see you guys in the next one.